circles in the country today. Um, there are some new regulations now governing uh, the circles in the country today. And uh, we are now joined by Francis Nonga, who is the Chief Executive Officer for Metropolitan National Sako Limited. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, for being patient as well. Thank you, thank you. Um, there's a lot that happens when it comes to circles. A lot of people say they are the biggest thing to ever happen to small and medium enterprises today. Um, but you, of course, we also have new regulations in the country governing circles. Yes. How do you think these regulations are going to impact on circles in the country today? Thank you very much. Uh, let me begin by saying uh, how about I go? Mm -hmm. Uh, cooperatives, particularly circles, were taken to be for the poor, yeah. for the low uh, salaried uh, employees. Yeah. But it has, it has come to be that uh, it's a very important vehicle for economic development, mm -hmm. uh, social economic development mm -hmm. for the majority of the Kenyans. Yeah. And going straight to well, the, the question of the day is that uh, before we had the regulator, uh, we've seen uh, that uh, most people didn't have that confidence that circles are really uh, financial institutions. Mm -hmm. But with the coming up with, uh, of the regulator that is SASRA, Circle Status Regulatory Authority, mm -hmm. uh, we have now uh, an organization, a government institution, that can, uh, you know, watch for us and say such and such in circle is uh, operating in the best way because we have those standards that they have set for us, mm -hmm. just like the Central Bank of Kenya has standards that has, uh, it has set for the commercial banks. All right. Okay. Um, uh, uh, and just like you put it, you know, what we're looking at right now is that we are also seeing uh, that circles are being used as safe havens uh, for people who are trying to, or who are violating bank regulations, yes. uh, especially the banks themselves. Okay. And uh, <coughs> in a way, I think we also need to talk about the fact that circles have a role to play in ensuring financial transparency. Yes. How is, uh, for instance, Metropolitan Sako yes. ensuring that there is transparency within the Sako? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, Metropolitan National Sako mm -hmm. uh, was a small Sako that was based at Kiambu yeah. uh, for teachers only. Yeah, yeah. But over the years, we have grown to hit a membership of over 80,000 across the country and uh, a total uh, assets of base of about 9 billion Kenyan mm -hmm. shillings. Mm -hmm. And those figures, uh, they themselves have, uh, tell stories in that uh, the Kenyans, we have the Kenyan people have a lot of confidence in what Metropolitan itself is doing. Uh, first of all, annually we hold our annual meetings quite early in the year and we pay dividends, mm -hmm. of, of course, after presenting the financial statements. And we also ensure that uh, we give uh, loans because that is one of the major objectives of ASACO, savings and credit, mm -hmm. uh, on very, very timely basis mm -hmm. so that we live up to our expectations. Then uh, monthly, we do send uh, reports to uh, SASRA, who are the regulators, yeah. uh, you know, detailing what we've been doing for the last one month. And, uh, you know, those figures, those statistics really tell uh, what we've been doing and add to the confidence of the investors. Okay. Yes. And how many members do you have so far? So far, uh, as I've said, uh, like three, five years ago, we had 5,000 members. 5,000. But we opened a common board, our common board, to let all formerly employed persons within the, within the Republic of mm -hmm. Kenya to join Metropolitan. Currently, we have slightly over 80,000 members mm -hmm. uh, who are spread all over the Republic of Kenya. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you so much, uh, Francis Nganga, for coming to speak to us about uh, some of the latest developments, of course, with yes. Metropolitan Circle Correct. Limited. It's such an honor speaking to you. And that is Francis Nganga, Chief Executive for Metropolitan Circle Limited.